Okay, we're back. I think everything's working. I'm gonna wait and let's let me see if the ringing is still here. No. Okay. Okay. So as long as my microphone sounds good on on your end, it should be good. I just had to go and restart voice meter. Um. So for the benefit of the YouTube VOD, uh, you missed nothing. I walked one room to the left and then one room down and got this ancient soul. <laughs> you, you missed absolutely nothing, so don't worry about that. All right, there we go. I'll just have to remember to do that. I'm going to have to remember... I'm probably going to have to restart uh, voice meter and fiddle with my microphone every time I go live. Which is a pain, but it's doable. So thank you for your patience. How are you doing tonight, chat? I was talking, um, again, this is probably for the benefit of, uh, of the YouTube VOD. Um, I, uh, I have several job offers in the next couple days, and I have several interviews, so here's hoping. Here's hoping that uh, everything goes well. All right, so we actually want to go, uh, where, there we go, Bastion Gates. And from here, I think we want to go up and left to get to the stockade. Actually, no. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter which one we go to. Um, yeah, either way, this is, uh... We're getting into the hard part of the game now. Anyways, you're doing good, Vault. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're doing good. All right. So I remember I opened a shortcut here. Can't get through those yet. Oh. Flub my parry. Get down here. those winged knights. Shoot. There's actually something there, but I can't get it from this side of the wall. Okay. Nope. That doesn't work. There's a locked door. Damn it. Ow. I 
I am not above doing stuff like that. This game is hard. I am going to leverage every advantage I can. Ooh, chain of sorcery. Okay. When will the snow cease, I wonder? Did I miss something? No. That's just a quick way out. Okay. Well, that's fine, because the enemies I killed stay dead. Yeah, no. Like, I don't like to straight-up cheat. Well, okay, I shouldn't actually say that, because I've been playing a lot of Risk of Rain lately, and technically I'm cheating in that, because I'm using some extremely broken mods, but the, the goal in that is just to have fun and be goofy. Hey, yo. Zero Master! Yo, thank you for the follow! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the shit show! <laughs> you weren't following? That's okay. There's 50 million VTubers out there, and you can't follow all of them. Truthfully, I don't know if I'm following you on Twitch. I'll have to check that after the, uh, after the stream. But now, how are you doing tonight? Oh, good, that's that gate. Uh, oh, bad. That's that gate. <laughs> you follow me on Twitter? Well, yeah, I follow a lot of people on Twitter. I don't follow a lot of them on Twitch. I oftentimes forget that you can follow people on Twitch. Nice. Nope. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Okay, so we got... And there's something in here. Amulet Fragment. This game looked cool. We really did the art style. This game is wonderful. It came out... I forget what year, but it's one of the best Metroidvanias I've ever played. It is really fucking hard. But as long as you expect that going in, it's wonderful. Uh, let's see, I can go to the right. Let's do that. Oh boy! Literal, actual dragons. What about Guacamele? Uh, I own Guacamele. I tried playing it. I was not a huge fan. Like, don't get me wrong. What I played was good. It just didn't jive with me for some while, for some reason. Alright, not fighting you. Enemies in this game don't drop anything, so it's very rarely worth fighting them if you, uh, if you can. Boo, the engineer is NG here. I forgot I had text-to-speech turned on. Welcome, NG! Welcome, welcome! Thank you for the three months! Holy shit! All right. Oh boy, now we got big motherfuckers. But they don't like to turn around, apparently. Ow. Fuck. 
These guys like to turn around too much. Oh god, I'm out of prayers. Put the Spencer here. Erecting a sentry. Erecting a... Fuck these winged knights. <laughs> Erecting something else. No, 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 no. That was last night. That was last night. Here we are. We are perfectly say so. We are, uh, we are, we are good little gamers. Absolutely nothing lewd ever happens here. I honestly don't know how that didn't do contact damage to me at some point. Like, that was fucked. Okay, I just did something. I don't know what. Oh, okay. Those elevators are already there, and I was trying to call it. Never mind. All right. Come on, come over. No, no, come over. was unexpected. Okay. Can I get a bench? This this room doesn't have a bench in it. This is Oh, this is not good. One of these birds is not friendly. And this... Fuck! Well, that's all that progress fucked. Yeah, when I said this game was hard, this game is hard. So let's just try rushing back there as quick as possible, hopefully without having to fight too many things. Explore down here. Oh, here's the bench. Okay, good. All right. Now I have a save point, a respawn point that's closer. Bloody note two. Day ten. The battle is taking its toll on the white priestess of the fount, too. It will be truly done if she falls. Day fifteen. Say we best the blighted. What happens then? What will my family make of me? This undying body of mine surely isn't so different from the Blighted. 
If you haven't been following the story, um, this is the Kingdom of Land's End. Some bad shit went down. There was a, a disease called the Blight that came in and it infected people and turned them into monsters. And then the kingdom decided, hey, what if we, you know, made monsters of our own to fight it? And that went about as well as you could expect. Oh, nope. Okay. So this is literally the room that I was in. Nope. Not this time. The room ahead of us belongs to Sir Ulv. He is quick to anger and difficult to reason with. Should you have business with him, approach only once you have inquired first with the Knight Commander. Okay. Ow. Yeah, fuck off, birds. Um, so I think... Okay, those other birds over there can't make it too much. Oh, nope, maybe they can. Stagnant blight. I can't get into Sir Olve's room right now. I can't break those, uh, sideways weird wall things. Uh, nope, fuck you. That doesn't help. Yeah, okay, I have to go back up. The fuck off with the winged knights! Thank you. No. Okay, that blighted water will hurt me if I swim in it, so let's not. More upgrade materials. And that's everything in this room. I can't go to the right. So I guess I have to go up. Well, hang on, hang on. Maybe I can go to the right. I just gotta fight this asshole. Holes. Multiple. You know what? It is not worth engaging with these guys. Oh, another bench. Okay. Honier's Diary 3. Even up to the morning of her passing, my sister was smiling. Cradling her son lovingly, she entrusted him to me, praying that he would live a normal life. Even though it goes against the code of the Dark Executioners, I've already made up my mind. I will raise Julius. 
His future will be his to decide for himself, and I will do all in my power to make it so. Can I just say I really love the, uh, the music in this game. The way the various layers of the tracks come in and out based on what room you're in. It gets a lot more intense when you're in combat. Um, I think it's really nice and calm and understated in the save rooms. Fuck you. Slugs. At least I think that's what those things are called. That actually wasn't a bad idea, because these lilies will restore your prayer uses. This side of the room looks like fun. Well, I've activated a shortcut. There definitely looks like there's something there, but I don't know if I can actually do anything with it. Oh. No, I can't do anything there. There's... Must need an ability I don't have yet. Alright, what's up? Oh, now we're getting into places I recognize. These eyeballs suck ass. I drank that elixir the sorcerer gave me, and then the rest is a blank. Sus. Uh, ayo? I didn't think there was this much shit over here. Alright. So let's see what we're working with. Is there a way for me to hit that? I'm sure there is. It's just a matter of finding the right weapon to clip through the wall. Ah! Oh! Or just finding the secret hidden door. Rechorus's ring. Increase the SP gauge by one. Oh, that. The SP gauge is that big special I can use every once in a while, so that could be useful. I don't know exactly how this works. There's like, I just leave the water. I mean, it's not the only place that happens. So, I mean, it might be explained somewhere. Magic bullshit, I'm sure. Ow, fuck off.
Okay. Back in here. Back up to the shitty eyeball tower. That's why they're shitty. Because if they see you, they do that shit. I don't really have any good way to deal with them right now. Can I even do anything in here? I hit that lever, but I don't think I can do anything unless there's another lever up here that I missed. Nah, just the shitty eyeball. All right. This is not the way to go. Which means it must be this way. Oh boy. I am in fact ending some lilies. And I'm having an absolutely terrible time. Yep. Mimics. Because this game, you know, isn't bad enough. Then again, it wouldn't be a Dark Souls like if it didn't have Mimics, and this game definitely has some Dark Souls influence. That, I think, is a mini boss, but we can't get to it from this side. You can get in here, though. Okay, I got... What did I get? Rekorus's Ring. Takes two slots. Increase the SP gauge by one. Rekorus the Ripper dance, dances with spirits on the battlefield. An old relic unearthed when the ancients were destroyed. Resistant to rust. Huh. Okay, so... I could remove the prayer beads and put that on, but I don't know if it's actually worth it. I think I just want to put this on. Because I don't use my special attacks very much. Now, the question is... Is there anything else for me to do in here? Oh! Sir Jared erects this monument in memory of those who fought alongside the White Priestess of the Wind. They fought bravely to eradicate the Blighted, allowing for the construction of the Twin Spires. Their noble sacrifice is the bedrock of our great sanctuary, granting us refuge from the Blighted menaces encroached from the Verboten Domain. That didn't work very well for you guys, did it? <laughs> Alright, unfortunately there's not much we can do there, that's just a bench. There's a lot of other paths into that room, but none of them we can access. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, you're back. Fuck off. I don't want anything to do with you. Can I... I don't think I can do anything here yet. I don't think I have what I need. Because I don't think... I can't seem to progress any further. I can't go... up here. Because there's nothing for me to grapple onto. I can't get... Ow! Can't get through that, uh... Yeah, okay. I think this may have been a wild goose chase, this area. Let's try another area. We're gonna fast travel. Who knows, that ring might come in handy. Okay, so let's fast travel. Let's go back to Bastion Gates. And we're going to go to the upper left this time, because there's another area up there we can go to. Whether we can get in, I don't know. But we can go there. Ah, 
How many souls do I have access to? Um, a few. Um, oh, shoot. So if you're not aware how these work, the reddish ones are main skills, which you can only use one at a time. Um, you can map more than one to one button, but I can't like use the sword and the hammer at the same time. Um, and some of them, the projectile ones, usually have limited uses, ammunition. Uh, the orangish ones are secondary skills. They have a longer cooldown, but you can use them alongside other skills. So right now I've got two sets. I've got a melee set with a sword, a hammer, and a little bit of automatic range support. And I've got a range set with daggers, homing magic, and the same range support. I really like um, things like the Western Merchant. That's the one that just summons this bird that attacks things automatically. Because I can just focus on, you know, dealing damage and they'll attack on their own. And it's a lot easier for my- Ow! Little lizard brain. being ah there was a mini boss up here but i already killed him right i came here before and i didn't have the lantern so now i can do this and get in here more upgrade skills welcome to the castle proof of founding the King's Mage Brigade is a division led by Faden, the foremost expert on the Blighted, to develop new means of fighting back the Scourge. Only former members of the Coven are granted enrollment. As long as their work falls within the realm of the Blighted Research, no conduct is considered forbidden among their ranks. I'm sure that uh, went very well for everyone involved. Okay, let me see if I can enhance some things. Uh... Yeah, we're going to enhance you. And it's almost at max level. We're going to enhance you with some Furious Blight. And uh, what the heck, we'll enhance you as well. The range set. And I should remember to save. So welcome to the castle. Uh, it sucks. Just like every other place in this game. <laughs> See? I'm not gonna lie, I do not agree with having contact damage on most of these enemies. No iframes? Yeah, sure, sign me up. Contact damage on random ass knights? No thanks. See, so you have a knight, what looks like a nun. You also have a big guy with a hammer and a thief like character. Yeah, um, I can only use three at a time, and if I sit still long enough, you'll be able to see what they have equipped. So, on my melee set, I have got. The knight, the nun with the hammer, and the bird. And if I switch over to my ranged set and wait a moment, you'll see what I have here. I've got the thief, I've got a witch, and I've got the same bird. The big guy with the hammer, um, I swapped out for this one because she similarly does a lot of knockdown damage, but she can also charge her attack. Whereas the knight is slower and one and done. Yo!
Okay. Okay, those knights are no fucking joke. So yeah, yeah, an ability is a soul you've collected. Um, they're all based on the various bosses and mini bosses, and a lot of these souls you get are... There's like mini boss versions of some of these enemies, and that's uh, when you defeat them, that's when you get a, uh, a soul. Ow, okay. All right, come on. Nope, we're just gonna run over here and heal. Ow, fuck off. Okay. Delta, thank you for that. Fucker. These guys that can attack on turnaround. All right. So we've opened up an elevator to what? How's it going? Uh, surprisingly good. Today was actually a very good day. Um, I touched on it earlier in the stream, but that recording is going to be lost because um, I had some mic issues and had to restart the stream. Um, after losing my job on Friday, I have since gotten uh, three interviews, one of which it looks like I'm straight up just going to get that job. So yeah, Pog. So uh, I was uh, I was really worried for a minute there because I can't afford to be without a job for more than a little bit. How did I lose my job? Um, mismanagement mostly, and and not my boss, but like my boss's boss. We have like a weekly budget of hours of you know how many people we're allowed to schedule, and also we have a list of things we have to get done every week for you know stocking and you know for receiving the truck and everything. And our budget of hours is so low that I'm routinely scheduled by myself for three to five hours at a time and expected to get a lot of work done. And I straight up just can't. I just I cannot get the amount of work done that they want me to get done by myself in that amount of time. So, like, I'm not saying that things didn't need to change. I'm just saying that I don't think firing me was the solution. But it doesn't matter. I don't work there anymore, so it's no longer my problem. Ooh, increase maximum HP. Yes. Crest of an elite knight who defended the king. Even after the rain drove him to kill indiscriminately, the royal Aegis never forgot his duty. I don't know. Somehow I think protecting the king and killing people indiscriminately are mutually exclusive. But I don't know. Maybe the king was a dick. Honestly, you know... <sighs> I didn't want to like lose my job, but if it had to happen, I was already looking for something better. So, you know, it could have been worse. Okay, I just need to get off of this fucking staircase. <laughs> there is nothing on that staircase that is worth it. Oh. That doesn't help me. I thought that might have been like a bench room. Oh, jeez, hello. Let me get to a point where I'm not being attacked instantly. It very much sounded like they needed a scapegoat and they tried to make you one. Yeah, honestly, I think that might have been part of it. Like I said, I'm not going to say that I didn't need to change things up. Like, I did. I needed to, like, work harder, but I can only give so much before there's nothing left, you know? That's why I took last week easy with streaming, because it's like, I want to try to give more to this place, because as much as I love streaming... And I, I really do. My day job is what pays the bills. Um, so I had to cut back on streaming to try to give more to that. And it wasn't enough. Okay, so they want to lose me? That's fine. Um, 
Brandon, my boss, I don't know why I said Brandon, like you guys have any idea who that is. He straight up admitted that he lost his best customer service person when he had to let me go. And uh, I've already heard that uh, at least one other person is considering quitting specifically because I got fired. So we'll see what happens there. We'll see um, how it goes for them. Has the castle truly fallen? Certainly looks like it, buddy. Oh god, I have no health left. When did that happen? Yep, here's the other Mushroom Mancer. Now, what's over here? Oh! Death! Death is over there! Which is embarrassing, because I've actually fought those enemies before. I fought one of those enemies in the very first area of the game. Alright. Let's try this again. Oh, this is a different path. I missed this the first time. Okay, let's check this area out. We may as well. Who was the first soul I collected and how did I get them? It was this guy, it was this knight. And he actually woke me up from stasis. Uh, this guy is... This is not going to be good. Ow! Ow! Motherfucker! Well-timed iframes takes care of that, but Jesus! Calm the fuck down! Oh, and of course there's more of them. Yeah, no, we're not dealing with that. We're just going to go hide. Ha ha! You can't hit me through the floor! Okay, so that's that side. Is there anything on this side? There's a knight. Oh god, there's another one of those assholes. Alright. Yeah, they're not super hard, but you gotta be aggressive. First collected soul was a guard that got corrupted and we needed to beat then purify. No, actually, this guy here, he he was never corrupted. He is actually a different kind of uh, bound soul than the other ones. Um, he has a deathless pact with the white priestess, so he's kind of bound to my bloodline. So he's he's always been here. The other one was um it was actually the person who gave me the double jump. Which is another soul I got, just like a passive one. Um, uh, Guardian... I don't think it was Frisha. But it was one of the two nuns. Okay, so I have to break that one from above. I can get this, though. All 
Oh, another one of you. King of the First Age's Diary 1. I did not foresee our arrival on this new continent being welcomed warmly with open arms. There is sure to be much bloodshed, and though I am prepared to do what I must for my people, I cannot stop trembling. I will keep a record of what follows. I must never forget the battle that is to come. You know what? Ow, fuck you, buddy! You really gonna be that way? Uh, yeah, you are. Well, you can fucking die. So yeah, we're gonna try to cheese these guys with ranged. you okay well we've done all this work I guess we go this way first oh the first collected soul the first collected soul was um actually I remember who it was it was guardian Sigrid was the first collected button oh thank you for the hydrate hang on a sec Mm. Yeah, Secret's, Secret's pretty good for the early game. She's really good at taking out airborne enemies, actually, if you use her in the air. But we have better stuff now. Oh, boy. Hello. Literal centaurs. That's one set of gates. Looks like I have to open both, and then I can get in there from the other side. Oh boy, bullshit eyeballs! Oh boy, bullshit enemies! Listen, I know I was talking about how much I love this game, but I fucking hate this game, guys. Okay, this side's less bullshit. Nope, I take that back. This side's more bullshit. Ah, get parried, nerd. Fragment. More hit points. Nice. The curse of these types of games. You love them, they will not hesitate to physically beat the, you. Yes. Honestly, yes. Like, this game is beautiful. And honestly, I think it's one of the best Metroidvanias I've ever played. But it's also very, very hard. It does not pull any punches. Hello? Can I hit you from here? No. Kind of. Very awkwardly, I can. Okay, 
that's how I get back up. Stagnant Blight. So I don't think I want to fall down. I think I want to go back across. Oh, I have to fall down, apparently. Yep. Okay. So then, why did I not go through this area? I haven't played the dishwasher vampire smile. You're right, I did die over here. You're right, I died over here, and then I went up from that first room, and I got sidetracked. Okay, okay. Well, it looks like this is the path I have to take anyways. I have not played Vampire Smile, but a while ago, I did actually play uh, the Dishwasher Dead Samurai. It's been a while. I remember next to nothing about it. Um, I remember I actually pirated it. Uh, don't tell Daddy Bezos, obviously, but I pirated it because I was poor and wanted to play it. And I had just played uh, Dust and Elysian Tale. Oh, right, there was this... Oh, right, I died right in here, actually, with this motherfucker. Ah, revenge. Yeah, I played uh, Dust and Elysian Tale, which, um is a very, like, furry, deviant art, art style game, but it's a very good game, and I highly recommend it, actually. But, um, a lot of uh, characters in these games have uh, cameos in it, including the dishwasher. Vampire Smile is the sequel. Okay. Well, maybe I'll have to check it out sometime. Oh, uh, no, we're not, uh, we're not doing this. Come here. Oh, are you kidding me? You're telling me that I have to... Okay, fine. Bullshit. I'm sorry. That was bullshit. I was literally a millisecond away from healing. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, yeah, Dust Dust is really good, actually. Like, I highly... If you like Metroidvanias, play it. I don't care what you think of the art style, or if you think, oh, it's, you know, cringe, deviant... I don't care. Play it. It's good. Oh. I have fucked up now. There we go. This is the path I want, not the top room. Top room is death. No, this one. All right, I heard you missed us. We're back. Played more DeviantArt art style games. I mean, it's not bad. It's really not bad, but just the art style screams of like late 90s, early 2000s deviant art because you can tell it's both furry and like very anime inspired. It just has that look to it. Technically, it's actually quite good. All right, I don't want to deal with you. Okay, motherfuckers. Okay, down to one. We should be good. Thank you. Blight Wreathed Blade increases the amount of blight experience acquired. 
A kitchen knife treasured by the castle chef. After the madness consumed him, the blade he used to take countless lives became wreathed in blight. That's a little bit morbid. Yeah, you can just keep dancing, motherfucker. I'm just not... It's not worth it to fight you, assholes. Like, yeah, there's experience points, and yeah, I can level up, but it is not worth it to fight you guys. There's better places to grind later on. Uh, let's see. Save point? Question mark? Yes! Alright. Uh, Blight Wreath Blade is not worth it to use. Um, I am nowhere near able to enhance you. Julius's Book. In order to defend the Twin Spires, we Knights of the Bastion took the odd elixir and became immortal today. I would much prefer we didn't have to rely on forbidden magics, but even if it means making ourselves undead, we must protect our great nation. Even when stained with blight, a knight must never lose pride in their duty. And yeah, you can uh, you can go down from here, and we will, because there's a random ass dude in the wall, and there's also further down. Decay decayed crown. Enemies will be more easily stunned by attacks. A crown of highest loyalty worn by the King of Land's End. Having lost its former glory, the decayed crown was forsaken someplace far from the castle. I mean, it's not that far from the castle. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, there's a thing there, but I can't get it because there's another one of those, like, walls of blight. I just can't get through those yet. But there might be something up here. Ouch. No, 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 no. Priestess's doll increases the maximum number of healing prayer uses by one. Yes, this is going on and never coming off. Now there is... Ah, yeah, here we are. So there's another familiar type uh, spirit you can summon, and this is it. And he's dead. He's not very difficult. It is most gracious. And he knows my name. Castletown Maiden. Summons the spirit of the Castletown Maiden who strikes enemies she finds on the ground with melee attacks. The maiden was tending to her dog when the rain came. The dog nuzzled up against her body in the rain, never again to leave her side. Because the rain caused them to literally fucking melt together. Because, uh, yeah, this game is body horror. Don't let anybody tell you different. Yeah, no, we're just gonna... Oh, yo, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were there. I'll leave you alone. Now this, yeah, I can't do anything here. I can't, um, I can't get back to town that way. Once I can climb walls, I'll be able to. All oh, spoilers, we're gonna be able to climb walls eventually. But we got a few things outside the castle. Castletown Maiden's a big win. It's useful for boss fights. But now we have to go back inside. <laughs> And that's where this room leads.
I think I just broke sequence a little bit. Oh, I kind of remember this room. Nope. Yeah, there's another bench room right in here. Report from a verboten mage. We have learned that under certain conditions, the regenerative re regenerative rot in the bodies of the blighted is capable of fusing multiple life forms into one entity. I'm curious as to what becomes of the multiple souls within the fused body. Did the souls merge as well? With this, it may well be possible to create a soldier that can fly like a bird. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, um... So those flying asshole knights that I hate so much, yeah, those are literally guys that were fused into birds with uh, blight magic. Uh, let's see, Priestess's Doll takes three. Um, so let's take off you and you and do that. Then we'll save and then we can fast travel to Maelstrom Ramparts. BRB? Oh, take your time, Angie. Wait a minute. Spirits. Healing prayer. Okay, yeah. That's right, you only start with three prayer uses. Now I have five. That actually makes sense. All right. No, no, no. Why do I feel like this is going to be awful? Oh, because it is. We cleared out some space. We should be okay now. Any other motherfuckers? No? There's apparently a way to get over there. Yes, you certainly look very intimidating, but I really don't care. All right, now we can go up here. By the look of things, not even the castle could protect them. Yeah, that's looking pretty fucked up there in the background. Ah, fuck off. I hate that turnaround attack. I'm never ready for it because I'm not paying attention. Wait a minute. That's progress. What's the other way? Okay, we've got one of you. Uh, more, more combat. But, dare I say it, 
easier combat. These these knights aren't too bad. I just need to get them to do the attack where they hold still. There we go. Have fun. Okay, now this is bullshit on the other hand. Motherfucker. Got my shit slapped. All right. Oh, no. Okay, no. <laughs> We're not going that direction. Fuck that noise. I don't want to do that room again. Okay, fast travel. Uh, guest chambers. We'll go. We'll go from here. I think this was pretty quick, especially if we just ignore enemies and run. is so fun and purple. I mean, I like purple as much as the next mechanic, but that room is not fun. That room is uh, god-awful. This room isn't much better, but you know what? I can just run through the whole thing. Nope. Okay. Trying this again. Taking damage I don't need to take. All right, skipping, nope. Actually, you did an attack I can punish, so let's just kill you. Motherfucker. All right, fine. You know what? Suck a dick. Amulet fragment. Nice. The little girl is immune to the blight because she is the last of the white priestesses, which uh, have the power to purify blighted creatures by absorbing that blight into themselves, but uh, ignore the negative effects for the most part. You may notice that her hair is kind of black and she's got some kind of weird tenderly things in it. Like, does it show on here? No. But you can see this is what she looked like when she woke up. Pure white hair, no corruption. Now she's looking a little worse for wear from all the blight she's purified. Oh good, a bench. What other relic did I get? Oh right, I just got the crown on the blade. I hadn't looked at him yet. Priestess's Castle Memo. Why was I chosen by the king? Is it because I was the first white priestess born among my sisters? I wonder if my other siblings are still down below. All I can do is tidy up the room mother used to occupy. 
it will be ready for her when she returns. Yes, basically she sucked the blight, so she's resistant to the blight. Not immune. Resistance. And when we find the bodies of the other white priestesses, our prayers get stronger. Right. I don't think I can actually... No. Not until I have wall climb. I can't go this direction. So going this way was completely useless. But at least it's done now. Okay, so this is the way we have to go. Oh, I remember this room. It's a series of, like, combat gauntlets. I think there's four. I have to go like around. Oh yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> but it turns out being just super fucking aggro works. Oh, gotta kill you. See, now, the horses, the horses don't do contact damage. The enemies that could literally, like, deal damage by trampling you don't deal contact damage. But the other enemies do. I don't understand. And I died. Okay, let's try this again. I got backed into a corner there, that was my fault. Fuck you. And you as well. That spear comes out faster than it than you'd think. Right, that's round one. This is round two. Okay, so far so good. This is the one that sucks. And then this is the one with the horses. And then this guy. The regular knights really don't amount to much. Now, okay. This is the one that sucked. Would you stop that? Okay, one down. We're good. Ah, of course there's one more. I probably could have done that a little bit better than just standing in a corner and killing them as they ran into me, but 
It worked. Okay, fuck you, fuck you. You are not worth my time. So there is a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, now you deal contact damage. What the fuck? Ah, good. King's Note 1. At long last, the abominable Lord of the Blighted Lands has been purified. I am beside myself with rapt relief. The Blighted have tormented us for many long years, but now I control them. Tied as my hands were, I had no choice but to afflict my subjects to deal with those damnable wretches. Now their power is in my hands. path from that room that leads up. Path from which room that leads up? Uh, oh, this one over here on the left? I, there is, but I don't think I can, I don't think I can get to it. I think, um, I either need another ability or it's a one-way path. Could that be the throne room ahead? No, the restroom at the right? Oh, yeah! Yeah, but I do need the wall climb ability to do that one. So, all right, who's ready for uh, for a boss? The king of Land's End. No, not the king. King's dead, buddy. Knight Captain Julius is not, though. Oh, you motherfucker, you're not allowed to turn around. You are not allowed to turn around like that. I'm wondering if the... You know what? It was the merchant. He was blocking the merchant's attacks. The bird. All right, now you do something big. Yep. attack does not actually hurt that much. That, on the other hand, hurts quite a lot. Oh, come on. Knock him down. Yes, yes. For some reason, the bird is called the Western Merchant. That is the name of that spirit. All right. 
So I'm going to try something. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's swap out this one for the dog. And let's see if I can upgrade the dog at all. Yes. Okay. So we're going to wait until phase three to use that particular soul. But we're going to see if it'll help us. The merchant, it just kept blocking, but maybe because the dog is melee, it'll be different. my own fault. I, uh, mistimed that. Ugh. Yeah, the turnaround attack doesn't hurt very much, but I keep getting caught by it. Julius, bring it on. All right, here we go. Dog. added to your burdens. As the kingdom approached oblivion, its subjects became deathless abominations. My brethren fought on until madness consumed them, or the rain did. I managed to stave off the corruption of my mind and found myself in the throne room. My blade held over the king I was meant to protect. He shook and blubbered in exasperation. The priestess and the knights who gave their lives for the kingdom were disposable. This was where the king's obsession with immortality had led us. The king's words, dripping with greed, were the palpable lament of his corrupt heart. It was plain to me, as the blood pumping in that heart also flowed through my veins. I, too, had not fought to protect the kingdom or its people, but my own interests. I only wished for him to admit he had been wrong to abandon me. Sure enough, as I held my sword over him, his eyes were fixed only on me. I had been waiting for this, waiting for our eyes to meet for the very first time. So yeah, Julius was the illegitimate prince. And he killed his dad, because his dad went mad with power. Uh, also, now we have Julius. Unleash a series of jabbing attacks with a lance that allows for maximum reach. Advancing thrust can be made when using the skill while moving sideways. So this is actually a pretty good melee skill. Uh, the king's bastard son. After enduring a hard life, he rose through the knightly ranks to get back at his father. His tenacity is unparalleled. And now we also get a dash. 
So we can dodge, and then we can keep going by riding on Julius. And when we release it, it's an attack. Or no, it's not. It's not that. We have to um, hit X. And that's how we break the walls. A knight driven from his castle. How much hatred must one be consumed by to kill one's own kin? Yep. So now we have uh, a little bit faster movement, which is wonderful. And now there's a lot of places we can get into that we couldn't before. Unfortunately, that means we actually have to engage with these things. Please stop. Amulet Fragment, yay! Yes, the orange boxes on the map means that you have cleared the area completely. Blue boxes means there is something still left to find in that area. The green triangles are resting grounds. The white lines are roots, and the red dots are routes you haven't opened yet. So those are unexplored exits. So, and yeah, the map is uh, fucking huge because you can see how much we've explored. Uh, let's see, does it show it on here? No, it doesn't. It doesn't show the, my completion percentage, but it's not a lot. We're at about 70%. Yeah, this game is uh, decently long. Whoops. There is something hidden over here. I just missed it. There we go. Rain changed everything. We have lost it all, even our pride. Okay, now... There we go, I needed to charge a little bit further. King's Note number two. The fiend who stole away my beloved son is somewhere in the castle. I will not suffer this trespass. My righteous rage shall not be satiated until I hunt them down, for I cannot allow a dynasty of royal blood to meet an end in mine own halls. If only my plans had come to fruition. But no, hope yet remains. And Eldred's Ring. Speeds up accumulation of the SP gauge. Ancient warrior's gift to a priestess. The two were quite close, despite his being a disembodied spirit and her his master. Though she has passed on, the warrior's spirit yet remains, thinking fondly of the time they spent together. So, uh, everybody say hi to Eldred. He, Eldred is a good boy. Ah! These guys are not not good boys. No, we are we are leaving. As a matter of fact, we're probably just going to uh, <laughs> return to the last respite and fast travel. Yes, the knight's name is Eldred, as far as I know. Okay. So now I think we can do more somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, oh no, we can. This is a bad idea what I'm about to do. <laughs> this is a very bad idea. It's 
spider-like room with the path to the right. Yeah, I, I could do that. But also, if you the room I'm targeting right now, right? You can look and see that there's a path to the lower left, and then another path to the lower left, and then an unopened passage. Well, now that I have dash, I can get through there. And, um... So this is um, a terrible idea. I'm gonna say that right now. What I'm about to do is a very bad idea. But we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if maybe we are uh, in strong enough shape to do it. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. It's something to do, it's content. Ow, motherfucker. Okay. Step one, clearing out that underwater passageway. Step two, there's a time switch here. And the timing isn't very tight. This will go back up in a minute. And that leads us into this room. Which is looking very, very pink and sickly and not very friendly. Lots of weird mushrooms. We don't like this room. Fuck off. No, I want to go down. Okay, that works. Okay, so here's the switch. And we need dash to get through here because this door will close otherwise. Uh, say hello to the big motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we don't like to go this way. But theoretically, we can. And theoretically, we are going to try. Hi, big motherfucker. Bye, big motherfucker. Yep. We are actually pretty underleveled for this area. But I figured it might be fun to try. Ooh, can I... Oh, yeah, there is something up here. Hello, random furious blight. We'll take that. Ow. Okay. So let's try this again. Hopefully we can just get through this guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fuck him. We can kill him. We don't want to. Oh, and now we never have to do that again because there's a fast travel point. Baden's Archives 3. It took some negotiating, but we've finally been cleared to investigate the verboten domain. We've settled on calling ourselves the King's Mage Brigade. Though I must admit, I find the name a bit silly. My assistant Mariel is with me, though she doesn't seem to like the shape of the mask I made for her. I may be gifted in matters of the arcane, but I admit I lack a proper aesthetic sense. Subterranean lab. That certainly sounds sinister. And also, it is full of mushrooms and mold and gross, and the elevators have skulls on them. Yeah, now this is obviously a very happy place. This is obviously a very happy place. Welcome to the Verboten Domain. Blight hangs in the air. Where did you had some sort of magic implement to mask your face. Yeah, this smoke, it just straight up hurts you while you're in it. Welcome to hell. 
Like, you thought the rest of the game was bad. Holy fuck. Did you not know what you were in for? Music's cool, though. Enemies suck dick. I think if I do this right, I think I can get through this area without actually going through any of these, like, blighted areas. You do eventually get a gas mask that... It doesn't stop it, but it makes it a lot weaker. Ow. Try not to eat the mushrooms that make you trip balls. I think most of these mushrooms would make you trip balls. Although, then again, I don't think you'd really want to eat them. It looks like they're breathing in the background there. The ancients did battle here. One final stand. Yep. Unfortunately, can't get through this way yet. This elevator is the path to the final area. But in order to do it, we have to go through all the side areas and open up the gates. It has been sealed up very tight. So I guess we will check and see what's this direction. Yep, this is one of the mean areas. I hope you guys like Blight, because we gotta go through it. <laughs> ah, hello. Hey, free chain of sorcery. Well, that's good. Unfortunately, that's all that's here. We have to go back into the blight, go this direction. Ah, okay, so this, this spot we can breathe in, but not here. Oh, motherfucker. Can't do anything here. This door is locked. Oh, okay, that's... fucking room of the verboten domain welcome to uh yeah thematically this place is great like thematically this place is awesome good god does it suck to navigate ah thank goodness
Verboten Domain Notice. To my esteemed colleagues, carrying out research in the Verboten Domain is an exciting prospect, but it's also a dangerous one. All mages permitted to work in the Verboten Domain must wear the mandated masks. These masks are stored in the laboratory. They are in limited supply, so treat them with care. So the good news is, is, uh, there's a mask in that chest. The bad news is, is we can't get to it. We have to come from a different angle. Namely, uh, that room. Which we may actually be able to do now that I look at the map. So let's try that, because fuck going through this place without a gas mask. Like, seriously. <laughs> Don't torture- Don't torture yourself. Yeah, okay. I can, because now I can use Julius. Messing with novel AI, have any prompts you want to see? Um, none that are immediately apparent. Like, if you want to try, I don't know, hot anime bitch bending over big butt, something like that, that'd be cool for me. Whoops. Oh, come on. Fuck's sake. There we go. I'm doing something wrong. There we go. I just need a little bit more of a run up. Welcome to the Verboten Domain. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the Heretic's Mask. Why would I need to use the generator for that? I'm sitting right here. I can't see my own ass. Anyways, yes. Now by taking up a couple relic slots, we can actually work through the Verboten Domain a little bit more easily. But of course, that's not the only thing here. There is a secret up on the wall there that I missed. We'll get that later. All right. So the Heretic's Mask only takes one. We actually have an open slot. Damn, those things do a lot of damage.
probably end up with 69 uses of the daggers and the mage. Like, I swear that wasn't planned. I almost don't want to... Yeah, we're just going to do this. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no! Okay. I deserve that, my hubris. Um... Pretty sure there's something down here. It is a shortcut of some kind. Okay, the water doesn't actually hurt that much. The The mask actually helps protect me against it. I want to think about the name of that mask. It's meant to be symbolic of the people that were allowed down here were called heretics. Yeah, the, um... This place is called the Verboten Domain because Verboten is literally just German for forbidden. This place was taboo. You did not come here. This place was kept sealed. And then they said, yeah, but what if we didn't, though? Hello. Weathered necklace. Recover some hit points whenever you defeat an enemy? Hello, that's going on and never coming off. At least when I get back to the resting grounds. Ow. I mean, obviously it's not much. It's like two hit points, but you know what? I'll take it. Got some blight. And that brings us back here to this room. Fuck this room. Okay. Guess we go down. I think I want to go this way, though. Yeah, this is better than the uh, blighted water. Oh, Jesus. We're back here. I can put that relic on. Okay, so weathered necklace takes two. That's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. We're gonna take off the giant's ring and put on the weathered necklace. And then we're going to see... I think I just went the wrong way in here. 
like I want to go that way eventually, but I think I wanted to go down and left first. Yeah, I actually want to swim. Yeah. Oh my god, hello. That's a lot of damage. I got hit twice. I got hit twice by these little pissant enemies and they murdered me like holy god. No, if there's something up there, I can't get it. Because they are actually in a dormant state until you get close. The Blight has won in the Verboten Domain. It doesn't need to be on the hunt for anything. It's already won. The Verboten Domain is... It's just taking it over. Alright. So. I can go... I'll have to go left. I might be able to do that. Finishing up the Verboten Domain would actually be a pretty cool way to end the stream. I just have to... Mm, excuse me. I don't know if I can do it. Uh, yeah. I was in the poison for half a second. That's how strong this shit is. So let's try going this way again. Also, those enemies in the town and in the castle? Well, theoretically, yes. Like, the Blight has won everywhere at this point. Oh god, that was a bad decision. Hello, Amulet Fragment. At least I've got that. <laughs> Okay, so that's the way we don't want to go. Actually, this entire this entire area is the way we don't want to go. Let's be honest. Yeah, the background white noise is actually part of this music track, I think. Right. I've got no heals left. 
I'm, I'm gonna fucking die. Yep. Shit. Huh. I mean, I knew we weren't technically ready for this area, but this is a little bit tougher than I expected. Uh, maybe we should go invest- well... There's not really a whole lot else I could investigate that's gonna really help us. Spider room? Yeah, okay. I mean, what could it hurt? Uh, this is the closest. So the path to the right here is the one that I haven't explored. First place that came to mind, the rest of the dash doors are specifically placed everywhere. Oh, yeah, but this isn't the dash door. This is, um, gotta come from another side door. Which means I could probably actually get there, just not from here. I think I need to come from the other side. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm... Uh, I don't know what to do about that. There's not really much I can do, honestly. It's it's definitely a problem with the microphone. I would need to, like, restart voice meter and unplug it and plug it back in at this point. It would just be a big pain in the ass. So I guess I'm just going to try to keep talking, because it doesn't look like the white noise comes through as long as I'm not shutting up. All right, let's try the dark chamber and going up. So I guess this is at least a good exercise for me to avoid dead air, for what it's worth. Yeah, I've never gone up here, and it's literally just climbing. Okay, okay. Ow. That hurt. That hurt too. Why do you do so much damage? Okay, okay. So, you're a mimic. Knew you were a mimic. Amulet fragment. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Maybe, honestly, I just need to grind levels. I think that increases your defense. So, who knows? Okay, you die, and I can go this way and open this up. Okay, cool. Now, what is on the other here? Yeah, see, I, I feel you there, NG. Like, I don't lead a very interesting life, all things considered. So, I mean, and that's not, you know, terrible, but, like, that's why I have a lot of dead air on my suit. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, this is a puzzle of some kind. This is a jumping puzzle. And I have all the tools that I need to do this. Okay. What am I doing wrong? All right, there we go, chain of sorcery. Worth. 100% worth. Okay. 
And that opens up this door. Wonderful. Yeah, like how did that guy hurt me by touching me, you know? Some of these guys I will buy, like, having contact damage, but random teleporting dude with an axe? No. There's no reason that he should hurt me just by touching me. I'm hoping these, uh, issues get fixed, because apparently this game is either getting a sequel or a, um... DLC at some point. They've updated the website. Oh, fuck off. Okay, I've never gone in here. Oh. That's why. Okay, fuck off. Another chain of sorcery. Wonderful. Nice. We like those. You'd love to have co-commentators, because that's how stop dead in the air and just bullshitting your friends. It is a lot easier to keep talking when it's not just you. You know, I, I something I want to do is start doing a little bit more collabs. Okay, that door is locked. I can't get in there. This door is not. I can get in here. Oh, you're just a fucking bench room. <laughs> Love for either or it seems like a really fun game. It really is, honestly. Like, for as much grief as I give it for being really, really difficult and having some issues that um, I don't necessarily agree with design-wise, you can tell that this was definitely a labor of love. They put a lot of effort into making this game as good as possible. And it shows. Because this game is wonderful. Um, definitely one of the best Metroidvanias I've ever played and i have played a lot of those okay honer's diary one on this day's dawn my sister's child was born a boy julius is his name the king's illegitimate son born to the family of a dark executioner his life is sure to be one of much hardship he will undoubtedly want to know where he came from one day thusly i have resolved to begin this diary so that he may find answers when the time comes yeah, we see how that ended up. Oh, speaking of Julius, let's actually try... Let's actually try him out. He starts at level 4. Can't upgrade him. At least not yet. But let's see what he does. Okay, so it's not a very impressive combo, but it's a spear. What do you want? And you can attack while moving forward slowly. And it has a lot of range... So let's see, we'll try him out for a little bit. Maybe we'll like him better than the knight. Oh. Oh, okay, maybe we'll just die. <laughs> maybe we'll just fucking die. Let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, much better. There's another... There's another exit out of the bottom of this room. How do I do that one? There's... I'm missing something here. I'm, I'm missing something here. There's something I'm not seeing. How do I... What? There's... The room is a U-shape. Yeah, that, that could be. Uh, let's see, there's also... Oh yeah, Julius can do that, by the way. Oh, oh, hello. Well, uh, fuck off. 
There's also a door over here, a path to the north that I haven't gone through yet. Because there's this dash door here. Damn sinners, you'll pay for this. 100 stagnant blight, nice. It's not what I wanted, but nice, okay. Oh! And what are you? Oh, Jesus. Slip of paper. As one of the dark executioners, I imagine you are well aware of the verboten domain well below the stockades, where the blight festers. I have heard that the King's Mage Brigade has been going in and out there regularly to survey the area, but something doesn't quite add up. I don't suppose you know what they're up to, do you? Okay. So... There's a lot in this room that I didn't get the first time around, apparently. Let's just keep looking. Oh, fuck off, you goddamn... That's the execution chamber. Alright, now here... I don't know if we can actually go up. No, it looks like we need the uh, wall climb ability to go up. Okay, so... We want to go this way. Ow! Fuck off. God damn it, you shot me in the ankle on my way out of the room. go there. I want to go... No. Oh, God. We were eaten by rats, so no. Okay. So let's try this again. We want to go fast travel. Let's go here. Maybe this is going to be a quick way to get to that room. I'm really curious to see what that is, actually. So we want to go down and then to the right. Oh, right, this weird little thing where the water is horizontal for some reason. And then in here we want to go up. Okay, I've discovered a problem with Julius. He cannot be used underwater for some reason. The sword guy can, Julius can't. All right. So I can ride this up. That'll take me up to the bottom of this room. So, where the fuck is this? Oh, okay, I think I see now. I think I see. And that means there should be something over here. Probably a doorway I can get into. Maybe. Yes, okay. Alright, what's in here? Was this worth the trip? No, no it was not. Oh my god, no it was not. Okay, no, out, out. All right, so I think literally the only thing I can have I can use underwater is the damn hammer. Oh wait, no, I can use I can use the daggers. Don't. Okay. Worth it. Executioner's Glove. Increases damage dealt while at maximum hit points. Probably not worth it. Especially in the Verboten Domain. Completely worthless in the Verboten Domain. But nice to have, I suppose. That fake out there is not fun. 
Um, where else might there be something? I don't know. I don't know where else there might be stuff we could find. We could try the Twin Spires again. We might be able to do something in there now that we can get into uh, what's-his-name's room. I know we're just kind of wandering around now and trying to find stuff to do. And that's okay. All right, so we want to go to... Do, 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 do. Here we are, courtyard. So from here, we should be able to get into Olv's chambers by going this way. Oh. Yeah, we're still using uh, Julius. Yeah, all right. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Snowdrop bracelet greatly reduces the damage received from enemies. I may may put that on. I don't know how much it's going to take, uh, but that's not that doesn't actually give us the exit out of this room. Uh, Nani, yeah, non this guy. Oh right, we went this way and we and we died. Um, well, it, we're gonna do the time honored Dark Souls tradition of fuck. Well, we successfully ran past everything, but we still can't do anything over here. So, is there anything in here for me? Doesn't look like it. Not here. We can keep going up the Twin Spires, but that seems like uh, a really shitty use of my time, actually. Ow! Ow! Alright! Eat my ass, why don't you? I really wish I could remember where to go from here. Like, I know I can go through the verboten domain, but I don't want to. The verboten domain kind of sucks, not gonna lie. So there's a respite over here, which we're gonna hit. And... You know what, actually? Considering that we're we're having mic problems again and I would need to reset it, I think this might actually be a good place to end it, since I'm just kind of wandering at this point. Um, I'll need to formulate a better plan of attack for next time. Um, I'll pick this up probably sometime next week. Let me jump back to the chat screen for a minute. Okay. Well, I do want to thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me tonight. Even if it was a little bit shorter than usual, it was nice to kind of get back into the swing of things and pick this game back up. Um, it's really a beautiful game, and I really want to finish it for you. Probably not going to 100% it, because I've already done that, and it's like, I I could do it again, but it's like, I want to leave something for you guys to do. But I'll show off all three endings eventually. Um, let's see. Uh, tomorrow... Uh, I am going to be doing a Risk of Rain collab. Um, so if you want to get in on that, you got to be on my Discord server. There's going to be a lot of mods involved. Uh, I will tell you how to install those on the Discord server. Um, so if you want to take part in that, then the more the merrier. I think we can have like 16 players maximum in one game. So if you're interested in that at all, you are absolutely welcome. And then, of course, on Friday, I'm streaming on another site. Uh, don't know what I'm doing next week yet because I should have a job by the end of the week and my schedule is going to determine when I can stream. But hey, uh, let me see if I can find somebody to raid. If anybody in the chat has any suggestions, feel free to shout them out. Otherwise, I'm just going to try to find somebody who is live on Twitch. 
Let's see who all is around. Oh boy. It's not that late. Someone should be streaming. Let me see. You got one? Shout it out. Let me see your suggestion. I'm just checking to see who all I got here. It might be someone I already follow, honestly. Project Core? That is not someone I follow. Let me find them. Project Core. Yeah, okay. They are playing The Beast Inside, which appears to be some kind of horror game. But yeah, why not? We'll send them some love. Paradigm Shift 13. Um, remind me of Paradigm Shift tomorrow night. If they're streaming, we'll raid them tomorrow night. But uh, since I heard of Project Core first, we're going to go to them. Uh, but hey, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm really hoping I can get back into the swing of things and kind of pick things up. You know, I need to get some better hardware at some point, but we'll see what happens there. All right. I'm going to get this raid started, and then I'm going to go get some food. Yeah, thank you, Azari. You have a good night, too. Project Core. All right. There we go. All right. I'll see some of you guys tomorrow night. I will see the rest of you later this week or maybe next week. I hope you have a wonderful evening and say hi to Project Core for me. <laughs> later.